Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a long time. What can I say? I'm a pretty busy guy. Okay, so you probably want to know an update on my hair transplant. It's been about two and a half months. It's three months now. And as you can see, it's growing. It's a slow process. It's like watching grass grow. The hairs on the front are growing nicely. The hairs on the sides uh, are taking a little bit longer because most of the hairs that were transplanted on the sides fell out after a week or so. These guys are catching up while these guys are pretty much on their way. And if you want to see the full you know, result, you're going to have to wait another six to eight months for that to, to happen. But as you can see, it's growing. Okay, it's fine. I don't really pay much attention to it. I wash my hair and uh, do all kinds of stuff to my hair and I don't really have to worry. I don't really think about it when I, you know, style or wash my hair all the time. The back of my head, no pain at all. I mean, I, I really go hard when I scrub the shampoo into my scalp and when I rinse, a fun trick I do is uh, I when I lather my hair up with rinse or uh, conditioner, I pull my hair as hard as I can, just like uh, Christopher Walken. That he, that guy, that actor, he recommended that trick, and I tried it because he, he has a full head of hair and he's a pretty old guy, so that's what I did. And I still do it to this day. I've been doing it for years. So yeah, lather your hair up with conditioner and just pull until all the dead hairs come out. And I, I have tons of hair still, tons of hair. I'm very happy with this style of haircut that uh, this new barber gave me because I said to him uh, I wanted uh, my eyebrows to show right? because I was tired of my bangs being so long and it's summertime right now and it's really hot and humid and not getting enough sleep at night it's just unbearably hot so the haircut that I got is uh, as a result breathable manageable and I don't have to really style it in the morning and it conceals this perfectly. A lot of you are asking me, am I taking uh, uh, minoxidil or uh, uh, was it dutasteride or all that? Nothing. I'm not taking anything, okay? I asked the, the hair clinic, motion clinic, where I got my hair transplant, do I need that stuff? And they said, no, your hair is growing fine. So probably, uh, yeah, the end of this year or, or springtime of next year, you're gonna see the full results. But as of now, yeah, no, no pain nothing there's still a little bit of redness but that goes away eventually i'm not really worried okay so now i want to end off this video or close this video by giving you some final advice because i don't really want to make a three month four month update video maybe uh when it's fully grown out uh, after a year then i'll make another one of these videos because i need to move on i i this channel is not about hair this channel is about fitness here's my final advice to you for those of you who are serious about getting a hair transplant first of all if you really want to get a hair transplant done in korea read the faq first okay there's a link down below click on that link it's a full document just containing everything you need to know about getting a hair transplant done in here in Korea or getting a hair transplant done in general in your own country, okay? Read that document. I made it for you guys, okay? Read it. I am tired of getting emails, messages, and the same goddamn questions every time. How much? Uh, how many grafts? Uh, where are you? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to answer any more of those questions ever again, okay? You need to understand that this is an investment. It's an investment of money, time. If you don't have the money, if you don't have the time, then you shouldn't be doing this at all, okay? Whether you want to come to Korea and you want to risk doing the 14-day quarantine, which still exists right now, you have to sacrifice your time and the money as well because okay, it's going to cost you 2000 US dollars to stay in a hotel that you have to pay for for 14 days and you cannot go out. They have an app that you have to download on your smartphone so they monitor you all the time. So if you if you try to break the, the law and try to run out of your hotel and try to goof off, they're gonna deport your ass, okay? So there's no way around it. You have to be stuck physically in a hotel sanctioned by the Korean government staying for 14 days first then after that period is over that the two weeks then you can get your hair transplant done here in korea 
and I recommend that you stay in Korea for another one to two weeks. So in total, your Korea trip is going to last about three to four weeks or a month. And then the money, okay? I kept telling you the answer. I paid nine grand US for this hair transplant, okay? 2,000 grafts. For you, it may be less grafts. For you, maybe it's more money or less money. But think about that ballpark figure, okay? I paid nine grand, maybe you're paying seven grand, maybe you're paying 10 grand. Save at least 10 grand, at least. 10 grand for the hair transplant, two grand for the quarantine, one grand for a round trip air airfare from your country to Korea and back home, and then maybe an extra grand or two for uh, your Airbnb or your, your accommodation, food, and then like sightseeing and all that, okay? So in total, if you really want to get it done, if you're serious about doing it now, coming to Korea, you're going to need at least 15 grand US to start. You need to understand these figures, the numbers, the amount of time you have to sacrifice, and all that, okay? Is it worth it? Yes, it is. I don't have to worry about my hairline anymore, okay? I don't have to worry about hiding. Hiding is embarrassment anymore, okay? I'm done, I can move on. For you guys, you, you, it's, it's gonna be on your mind 24-7. Every time you go out in public, it's, it's gonna be on your mind. So, you know, you can find cheats here and there, but for me, I, I just wanted a final solution. And this is it, okay? So you don't have to come to Korea to get a hair transplant. You can go to your own local hair transplant clinic, but just get it done, is what I'm saying. Instead of just watching more of these YouTube videos and seeing other people's results and asking the same stupid questions, okay? Just fucking get it done. Yeah, that's all I have to say in this video, okay? So be prepared if you are really serious. Do your, do your homework and figure out how much you're willing to sacrifice in order to get, you know, some peace of mind. I'm trying to look for a swimming pool here in Korea to film at. It's pretty hard because uh, quarantine is still, still on. Gyms are a lot more flexible and uh, this channel is about fitness primarily. Okay, so stay tuned for more uh, fitness videos. I'll probably make a diet video or how to get ripped this summer video, how to lose weight, all that good stuff because I am a swim coach and I am a personal trainer. I'm a fitness coach. So I might as well combine the two and put this on this channel since you guys are all about, you know, being healthy. Having hair is a part of having good health, okay? <laughs> in my opinion. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please look at the pinned comment down below. Please don't ask me the same questions, please. Okay, just look at that, that link down below, okay? It's pinned. The links are there, okay? Click on those links. And have a great day, okay? I will talk to you next time, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.